Salmonella typhimurium, a small, rod-shaped bacteria, which cause a gut infection well known as Salmonella diarrhea. The infection starts by eating contaminated food or water. After ingestion, the bacteria travel through the alimentary system. Most of the bacteria are usually killed by the acidic conditions in our stomach. However, few bacteria may survive and are then transported to the intestine. The intestinal wall is made up mainly from epithelial cells, which form a protective barrier against microbial intruders in the gut. In the gut lumen, Salmonella has to compete with bacteria of the normal gut flora. Salmonella typhimurium uses its flagella to swim towards the surface of the epithelial cells, which is covered with a vast number of small extensions, the microvilli, which increase the surface area for absorbing nutrients. Several factors on the salmonella surface help the bacteria to attach to the epithelial cells. These adhesins play an important role for the colonization and persistence of the bacteria in the intestinal lumen. Once salmonella has attached to the surface, it now starts to invade into the interior of these cells. The bacteria use a specialized needle-like organelle a type 3 secretion system to deliver its toxins directly into the intestinal host cells. This system functions like a molecular syringe, which starts to inject the salmonella toxins as soon as it gets in contact with the host cell surface. Via this type 3 secretion system, Salmonella typhimurium injects a whole cocktail of toxins, the effector proteins, SIP-A, SOP-E and SOP-E2, into the intestinal cell. Inside the host cell, the effectors interact with cellular proteins and lipids and manipulate their function. The injected salmonella effectors activate specific host proteins which induce pronounced changes of the host cytoskeleton. As a result, the epithelial cell membrane extends outward. This ruffling process leads to the engulfment of the invading bacterium until it is taken up completely into the interior of the host cell. Now begins the intracellular lifestyle of Salmonella typhimurium inside the vacuole that has been formed during the engulfment of the bacterium by the host cell membrane. A different type 3 secretion apparatus is assembled and starts to inject a different set of salmonella effectors across the vacuolar membrane. Again, these effectors manipulate host functions. They alter the properties of the vacuole and trafficking processes in the host cell so that the bacterium is protected inside its vacuole from host defenses. Thin filaments start to extend from the vacuole covered with salmonella effectors, for example CIF A. Now the bacterium is safe and starts to replicate. Using type 3 secretion systems as molecular syringes to inject effectors into intestinal cells and manipulate signaling pathways, salmonella establishes an infection in the gut and triggers a profound inflammatory response leading to the typical symptoms of infection, abdominal pain and diarrhea. Much work is still needed to understand the different steps leading to disease.